Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Couples Pursuit Live Bible Study Edition. <laughs> we are so we are so happy that you joined us. Hello, my name is Vincent. I'm Valerie. Woodard. Woodard. And we're grateful that you took the time out of your night to come join us. I'm so ecstatic. We actually had a Bible study um, in our home way before COVID and all, all of that. And then we had to stop. Mm-hmm. But and people kept asking us, when are you going to do another Bible study? And whew, <laughs> we was trying like, to yeah, out. trying to figure it out because yeah. we knew we wanted to do the couples pursue. God called us a long time ago. We're really just um, getting towards it. And I, and my goodness, it's been so awesome to see couples lives change. But the Bible study was still so on our hearts. We still wanted to do this mm-hmm. and wanted to share um, the teachings that God has helped us in our marriage and also in our personal lives right. with you. And here we are, Couples <laughs> Pursuit Live, Bible <laughs> Study Edition. <laughs> yeah, and just so, um, just to be clear, uh, it's Couples Pursuit because it's what we do. Our mm-hmm. study of the Word is also a part of our pursuit of mm-hmm. one another to keep ourselves in line with what God says um, about us, how we're supposed to behave towards one another how we're supposed to love one another. Mm -hmm. And um, so I say that because I want to encourage you that this Bible study is not for quote unquote couples. Mm -hmm. Um, You can come by yourself. You most definitely can do it with your spouse. You can be single, separated, married or divorced. Mm -hmm. You know, it Mm -hmm. does not matter. We we are still going to share the word uh, of God that will enrich you in every way. Amen. 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 And thank you for clarifying that because... (laughs) Uh, we don't want somebody to say, well, I wish I could go, but I don't really have anybody no, you to can, write. you can go. You can, you can come. This is for you, too. Oh, for you too. I am yeah. so excited tonight, this um, particular study, awesome. that I believe if you get this, if you get this study tonight, that so much of what we will cover will kind of hinge on this particular study when we're talking about tonight eternal life mm-hmm. and my god i think <laughs> we've heard it we've all heard the scripture john three sixteen, and we've all you know you probably heard it so much that if i say it you might kind of tune out a little bit because you're like right. i know that i know I, that I, okay. yeah but i urge you mm-hmm. to listen <laughs> yeah. to listen we're going to share something that you might have Overlook. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. So let's get into it. I'm going to share my screen if that's okay. While he's doing that, I'll just say a simple word of prayer. Lord, mm-hmm. just bless us and keep us. Um, let this word penetrate to the heart of the hearer. Mm-hmm. And Lord, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Um, our Lord and Savior, our strength and redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Eternal life. All right. So, if you, what comes to mind if you think of eternal life, you know, because tonight we're going to discuss that, and we're going to talk about, some people say everlasting life, in some translations it does say everlasting life, mm-hmm. um, I particularly use a CSB Bible, um, the Christian Standard Bible, mm-hmm. and they, they use the word eternal life, they're interchangeable. So if you hear me say eternal life, I'm actually mean everlasting, everlasting life. And then if you hear me yeah. say everlasting life, eternal. So I just want to clarify that. Mm-hmm. But the scripture we're basing our Bible study on tonight is on John 3.16. Mm-hmm. And it says, like I said, don't tune out. It says, for God loved the world in this way, or so loved the world. Some translations say that. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him Mm-hmm. will not perish, mm-hmm. but have everlasting life. Most of the time, when we hear that scripture, mm-hmm. I think um, we kind of stop at the word perish. Like it's a period there. Mm-hmm. Like it's, But I love when the Bible put a but <laughs> in the scripture. I love when, he, when the Bible says a but, mm-hmm. a therefore, <clears throat> a nevertheless, Mm-hmm. <laughs> because it's basically saying I share something good and and what I shared is, is probably impactful in your life right now 
but it's a bonus. <laughs> it's yeah. like the but is the something else is yeah, coming. So, something else is coming. So when yeah. the word when the word when you see the word but nevertheless therefore all that pay attention. And this particular scripture it says but have everlasting life. Some might say eternal life is living forever, but everyone lives forever, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting that you say that, but some people do have the mindset that once I die, I die. Mm -hmm. You know, when I pass away, it's ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Mm -hmm. um, I, maybe my spirit goes and soul, my spirit goes to heaven or hell. Or, mm. They may or may not believe that, and you'd be surprised how many Christians are are confused about that. But everyone does live forever. Yeah, everyone. Your your body dies. Your flesh goes back to the dust. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we do live forever. Where we live is the question. That's that, that's right. And what we're addressing tonight is how we live. Mm -hmm. How we live. Yeah, yeah. Not just with salvation, but with eternal life. Exactly. Exactly. As the word says, eternal life. Some people say, well, we're living forever in heaven instead of hell. Mm -hmm. you know, well, you're going to live forever. You know, but you're also going to live here on earth. We live forever, but that's not the true meaning of the word eternal life or mm -hmm. the phrase eternal life mm -hmm. the scripture says we will have eternal life it's a present tense we will have eternal life mm -hmm. it's a possession that he guarantees that we have now yeah it's not something that just begins when we when we, when we get to heaven i think a lot of us kind of say hey i'm safe you know yeah i have my ticket i got my ticket <laughs> Uh, I'm in. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. No matter what happens here. I made the confession, so that's all I need to do is yeah. just keep living until I don't anymore. <laughs> I work hard. I don't work hard. I mean, right. I'm going right. to heaven, so my life here, it might be bad. I'm struggling. My health issues, my financial issues, my, my uh, marital issues, all those things. Uh, you know, it's not promised now, but, you know, when I get to heaven, no, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> You are granted the right to those things now. Right now. Good marriage, good health, um, finances to be able to bless others. You're granted those things right now. Mm -hmm. Eternal life. So the question remains, what is eternal or everlasting life? Uh, this is very important. John 3.16 says that this is the reason that Jesus came to earth. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, we're, we're, this is the reason we have so much of the Bible to dig and open through our, our Bible study um, the Wednesday nights, the Bible studies, we have so much to uncover and unpack. Mm -hmm. But this reason right here is why he came. So we have to understand and grab a hold of this. Mm -hmm. Jesus defines define eternal life for us in John 17, 3. And that verse says, what does that verse say, baby? It says, this is eternal life that you may know. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> that you may know the only true God mm. and the one you have sent, Jesus Christ. Now, I know we're probably going to develop this, but the important words, not the important words, some key words in this verse mm. are that ye may know, that they may know, I'm sorry, that they may know mm -hmm. you, the only true God and the one you have sent. This is eternal life. I'll read it again because I missed a word. Mm -hmm. This is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and the one you have sent, Jesus Christ. Know is the key word mm -hmm. in this scripture, that yeah. they may know. Exactly. It's that intimate relationship. Mm -hmm. My wife, she has a CD. Uh, she has a couple of CDs. Thank God she's a <laughs> singer. And um, her first CD was, was titled Relationship. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's a relationship that we have with God, our intimate relationship, our personal relationship. It's not about religion. It's about right. relationship. And um, I mean, what my God is, is when she first told me that title, we stopped looking. You know, sometimes you're like, what should we call it? What should we call it? But it's, but it's about relationship. Yeah. And a lot of us, you know, we might gloss over that. I, mm -hmm. I did that. For a long time, mm -hmm. like I said, I, I got saved, dipped in the water, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm good, you right. know. So and and I was young, mm -hmm. and so the rest of my life, I'm like, okay, no matter what happens, I'm going I'm, to heaven. Yeah, I'm yeah. good. And um, I I know the Bible says a whole bunch of stuff, but mm, 
I'm going to hell when I die. That's all that really matters. <laughs> yeah, and I, I want to clarify, um, just when you when you talk about the title mm-hmm. of the CD, it's actually the title of the first CD is Relationship, mm-hmm. um, and the title of the second one is Relationship Two Closer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the Lord actually gave me, Holy Spirit gave me revelation for the the title of that CD, mm-hmm. and He said it's because my my people don't know me. Mm. And he didn't say the world doesn't know me. He said my people don't know wow. me, and I want them to know me intimately. Mm-hmm. And so um, those songs are written with that in mind. And every type of situation you may have in life is not just sanctuary songs. Mm-hmm. It's life music. You know, it's that intimacy. And so I think that's what you're after is um, that the the intimacy. That they're talking about in this scripture that they may know you, be be intimate, be mm-hmm. close to you, uh, the only true God and the one that you have sent. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, I'm, we all in the way. I apologize about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, many people have mistakenly thought that the goal of salvation is forgiveness for sins to avoid hell. hell. Mm-hmm. Um, that's it in, in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. You know, we go on to say that's not what John three sixteen is saying. Sure. If all that is there is to salvation, that more that's more than any of us deserve. Right. It would still be worth preaching about. Not, I'm not, not I'm not saying that's not important. Please don't. Very do important that. Please, and necessary. Yes. Forgiveness of sin is um, very necessary. Oh God, please don't. I'm not saying that. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is that, but salvation is so much more. more. <laughs> yeah. Like my wife said, and this is the point. This is what I hope you take away from this Bible study right here tonight. Mm-hmm. Is that eternal life is knowing God now mm-hmm. in this earth right now your present circumstance I mean really in that circumstance you know your car is acting up your 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 spouse your boyfriend your girlfriend your relationship with your mother your father you know all those things well, in the your in job, the midst your health of, whatever yes yeah. yes yeah. you you can go to God mm-hmm. right now cast your cares boldly. To him, tell him what you need. Because mm-hmm. cause, cause if you're able to go to him, that means you're able to pray. That mm-hmm. means you're able to seek him. You're able to knock on the door. You All those things, you're able to go before him and just share with him that your, what's on your heart. If you know someone, you know, the Bible talks about knowing. Yeah. And we talk about intimacy, intimacy. In, the, in the form of intimacy. He mm-hmm. knew her or she That's right. knew him. It talks about intimacy with one another. But God is the creator of intimacy, mm. even that intimacy in, um, that he, he sanctions in marriage. Um, and if you are uh, a, a couple, you're a married couple. And, and quite honestly, if you're not, you if you have been intimate, you can attest to the level of intensity and and and. Uh, uh, closeness that mm-hmm. happens there, which is why God wants it within marriage, mm-hmm. because you know of of all of the the connections that are made between two people when they are intimate, there is nothing like that relationship, and um, it is a wonderful thing to be able to have that with God mm-hmm. and to go to Him, so that no matter what your situations are, it has provided for me. Um, and this is what I call abundant life. It has a, provided for me the opportunity to, no matter what my struggles are, mm-hmm. to I'm able to go to God. So I might not be happy in the situation. I might not be happy if my car is acting up or if I don't have the finances that I need or, you know, fill in the blank. But I still have joy and I still have relationship and I still have access to mm-hmm. God. Knowing him puts me above whatever situations I might be having mm-hmm. in my life. That is very different. And coming to know him helps me to have greater compassion for people who don't know him. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that, that preframes what Jesus is saying mm-hmm. that he, he came. I'm getting ahead of myself. But he, he's, once you know him, mm-hmm. he, he did want to stress that eternal life. Eternal life is knowing you. Mm-hmm. But once you know God, once you know him like that, then he tells us later on that. That he wants us to have an abundant life, abundant life, mm-hmm. much more life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not just existing through life. Right. But he, that's what he wants for us. For, know, know God. Mm-hmm. Get, I mean, really get that intimate relationship with him. But once you do, the, the benefits, you get to have an abundant, you get to have a much more vibrant life. You get to have mm-hmm. a much a more, a better experience and not just settle for what the world is throwing at you. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm getting ahead of myself. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and once you have a turn life, a personal relationship, you will experience life more abundantly. Yeah. Wow. That that but you express is over and above what is needed. It's over and above. Mm. You have enough to share. Mm. Which is why we're doing what we're doing right now mm. is we're sharing mm -hmm. because what we have, it, it makes us so full that we are running over. We want someone else to experience what we've experienced. And there's more than enough exactly. for all of us to have more than enough. Exactly. That makes the, the, the Bible study was not a burden. It's, to, to me, it just physically, it was just time. And yeah. I'm just like, wow, wow. You know, I don't know if it's 24 hours in a day. And that seems, doesn't seem like enough time. How many people can attest you to that? You work eight, nine, ten of those. But, yeah. but never a burden because we have so much. I think it would be shameful for us to keep holding this in. Mm -hmm. Like what God has done for us, what he mm -hmm. has what He has brought us through, mm -hmm. all the trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. the times that I want to tap in, throw in the towel, those times that I didn't think I could make it through. Mm -hmm. And then he came in to my life mm -hmm. and change it so miraculously that, oh my gosh, my family received the benefits, the abundant life. Mm -hmm. My wife received the benefits. Mm -hmm. my, my friends abundantly, all those things that he's done for me overflowed. Right. And so now we have a chance to share this Bible study with the world. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and we're here now yeah. doing that. And that's why we want to stress to you that you you don't have to just settle for what you're in right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not discounting it. I'm not saying that you're not going through some things, mm -hmm. but I'm saying that you don't have to settle for just that, mm -hmm. and not just wait until you die and go to heaven. <laughs> yeah, it's not a waiting. It's not a waiting game. It's mm -hmm. meant for us <clears throat> to enjoy. And also, we are supposed to. There's the the um the Lord's prayer. Mm -hmm. But we say, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done mm -hmm. on earth as it is in heaven. We are given that abundant life so that we can bring God's kingdom mm -hmm. to earth so that we can can just like the temple, a replica of the temple was made when the children of Israel were in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. um, God wants us to mirror the kingdom here mm -hmm. so that it becomes attractive to those who are lost. Wow. So then they want to know him, mm -hmm. you know, and then they can receive it. My husband made mention of, of um, you know, when when he made that change in his life, he opened his mind and his heart mm -hmm. to God to receive that eternal life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, because the, and we, I'm talking about, like I said, I just want to express to you that, you know, you going to leave this Bible study. You're like, well, I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still in this situation <laughs> right now. And, and Jesus Jesus knew that. I mean, it's a scripture. Like I, said, I keep getting ahead of myself. Let me go. Um, John, Jesus said in John 10, 10, he said, the, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Only. Only. <laughs> Only. Thank it's you, baby. His, that's his Thank purpose. <laughs> that's his purpose. He said, but I have come, Jesus, have come so that they may have life and have life more abundantly. He knows that those situations that you're in, he knows that. He knows that, this, that the enemy is trying to attack you from all sides. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right? Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not a surprise. It says there's nothing new over the, under the sun. Right. It's not a surprise. We know that. With attention comes distraction sometimes. Mm -hmm. So we know that. And Jesus knew that too. Right. And he said the thief comes only. My wife had to put that only in there. Yeah. Because it's in the scripture to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I have come so that they, us, <laughs> mm -hmm. may have life and have life more abundantly. I mean, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am so amazed by how much he cared about us, how much even knowing what would happen in the future, we're talking about 2,000 years later, even knowing what would happen now, mm -hmm. he, he, he cared enough about me 2,020 mm -hmm. something years like now. Yeah. He cared enough about you yeah. That you still, we are still receiving the blessings, and we still have access to this abundant life. Wow! <laughs> if you get, if you get that, if you get mm -hmm. that, when you get through this Bible study, just meditate on that. Mm -hmm. Meditate on these verses. I will share this um, PowerPoint um, in somewhere in the Bible study live, so mm -hmm. you can have access to it. But if you get that, I guarantee that you will have a revelation about, wow, I don't have to sit 
in this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah, and just wait for it to be over. But mm -hmm. you'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Enjoy it. What is abundant life? All right. The answer to that question, let me get myself out the way. The answer to that question will need its own Bible study. <laughs> because, I mean, like, we're, wow, okay, <laughs> 21 minutes in, and Already. um, we're still, we're still trying to get this through, that this eternal life, this knowing God, and the benefits, one of the benefits of it, is abundant life that we keep talking about. Mm -hmm. So it would need its own Bible study. And we, 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 we'll one get day around we to do that. that. Yeah. 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 But but still, I would say, that I don't, I really can't put it all in the words. Okay, because it just it's it's abundant, <laughs> but it's the I know this is the opposite of lack, opposite of emptiness mm -hmm. and dissatisfaction yeah. that can take away from a person's life quality or quality of life. You mm -hmm. know, it's the opposite. I know it's, I know it's the opposite of those things. Mm -hmm. And so if you're if you're in those situations where you might be experiencing lack, you know, emptiness inside, you know, and dissatisfa dissatisfaction. I remember a lady told me, I talked about this in one of my other videos, she just kind of hit me. She looked at me, I could, you, you could tell that the Holy Spirit was on her. Mm -hmm. And she said, you're frustrated. Yeah. Like, dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. Not so much with my, not with my wife, not with just, just life. I'm frustrated. And she called that thing out. You know, you know how um, um, prophecies do. You know how... Um, <laughs> You know how sometimes a person can just look at you and tell you, just read you, they like you got you a note. <laughs> like you in kindergarten, yeah. you got a note on your shirt. <laughs> yeah, they tell you your secret. Mm -hmm. And when yeah. she told me that, I was like, wow, wow. So recognize that. No, I'm not, not discounting it. Recognize it. Mm -hmm. Because those are the things that you have to pray to God about when you go to him, when you get intimate with him, when you get a personal relationship with him. Mm -hmm. These are the things that you're saying, you know what? God, I, I do feel these things. Mm -hmm. I feel this. I need you. Amen? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Lord, have mercy. Oh, baby. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's so much to unpack. It's so much to yeah. unpack. <laughs> yeah, it is. Mm. It is. But I, I just want to say, to piggyback on, on what you were saying, is you can go to him, mm -hmm. and then he will satisfy your every need. Um, Philippians 4.19 says he will supply all your need mm. according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. That mm. means everything that we have need of, we can get from God. Mm -hmm. We can get through that relationship with him. And praying that conversation with God, that intimacy with God, gives him, acts, gives him uh, authority to access our lives because we still have our free will. Mm -hmm. But if we ask him, and we ask in Christ's name, he will grant the things that we need. And then let's go on to Romans 5, 17. Babe. This says, for if, for because, I'm sorry, for if because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance, the more than enough of grace, of the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now that's a lot of words, but I'm going <laughs> to paraphrase it for you, right? So if Adam messed up, I'm going to send Jesus to fix it, right? <laughs> Adam messed up, made it bad for everybody. Mm -hmm. Jesus came and gave his life and took our sin onto himself so that we could um, receive the free gift of righteousness mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, said through one man, death mm -hmm. reigned through that one man. Mm -hmm. Much more Much were those more. who received the abundance of grace mm -hmm. and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man. Reign in life, <laughs> not suffer in life, not drag on in life, mm. not wait out, not wait for death to knock on your door, but reign yes. in yes. life. That means to be in a position of, of goodness mm. in mm. life. Doesn't mean things won't happen to us because mm -hmm. he reigns, R-A-I-N, mm -hmm. on the just and the unjust. Good mm -hmm. things happen to all people. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Okay. Another one. Give, give me another example, baby. Okay. So the next example is in Ephesians 3. This is his favorite <laughs> portion of scripture, uh, 20 and 21. It mm -hmm. says, now to him, mm -hmm. him who, him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I can ask for a lot of things <laughs> and I can think about a lot of things. All that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh went within us. What mm -hmm. power? The power that he's given us unto salvation mm -hmm. to him, to mm -hmm. whom? 
to Christ, to God, to him be glory in the church mm -hmm. and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. Ooh. He can do far more abundantly than whatever we can ask or think. But we must ask. We must ask. Not yeah. because he doesn't know. But because, again, that it's like our prayer, our petition is the is God's work permit. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Somebody need to tweet. I need to tweet that. <laughs> Say that again. Our our prayer is God's work permit because he's not going to to uh, supersede our will. He says, ask him and it shall be given unto you. Mm -hmm. Uh, seeking you shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you that's not a part of our scripture for tonight but it's mark or matthew chapter that's 7 matthew 7 7, matthew 7, 7. Mm -hmm. so we are to ask so do that if you have need you go to your father mm -hmm. boldly and say god this is what i have need of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and he will give that to you mm -hmm. within his will now you can't say lord i need my neighbor's wife <laughs> or i need all the money at the bank oh, come on let's be real now because that won't work. <laughs> well, that's why we started this whole lot Bible study with having a personal <laughs> relationship, having an intimate relationship. Yeah. Because you know, once you have that relationship, mm -hmm. you know what your father would do and what his father wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. Just like with your wife, you know, you have that relationship. I know that my wife, I just can't roll up on her with a, a, a Lamborghini or whatever, some kind of fancy, expensive sports car without mm -hmm. talking over with her first and, and you know going through the finances to see you know we can actually we can do afford this. that yeah. which we cannot <laughs> <laughs> right now right now but, but i know my wife yeah i know her mm -hmm. and, and i spent enough time with her mm -hmm. to know that even if the thought did come to my mind man i like that sports car i want to get it i know what we would like to do we would talk about it mm -hmm. she would want us to talk about it want us to break down actually I the cost. all the reasons why we don't need it <laughs> and what we can do with all that lamborghini money that's what i'll do and i, don't know that. I know you don't right we don't want to be that low to the ground mm -mm -mm. not me yeah I get up high my knees be aching anyway we're getting into it <laughs> <laughs> come on baby come on come on many people believe jesus died <laughs> to forgive their sin and he did Mm -hmm. But they still don't have a close personal relationship, intimate, person, intimate relationship mm -hmm. with their Father God. They think that as long as they have a reserved seat <laughs> to heaven or for heaven, um, they can continue to muddle through life. Yeah. And and that and actually, I did. I, I I probably believe that way. Now I don't know if I was muddling through life, muddling. Mm -hmm. I don't know muddling, word, muddling. Muddling. Mm -hmm. But I was like, okay, yeah, well, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't. <laughs> Can you imagine being in a relationship with somebody like that? Oh, I love you. Mm. If it works out, it works out. If yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't. You don't love me? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I do, but... Oh, you don't like me today? Okay, well, we'll get divorced. <laughs> what? Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, Lordy. The issue this causes is many people are living to die instead of dying to live. Yeah. What does that mean, mm -hmm. Minister Van? Mm -hmm. I mean that we have to die to self. Yeah. To our expectation, mm -hmm. to the things that we want to see done in our lives mm -hmm. and actually surrender ourselves, surrender our lives to Christ and ask him, what does he have for us to do? Mm -hmm. What does he want us to do? Mm -hmm. I am serving you. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I've died to self. Mm -hmm. Me, no. Okay. You, yes. What does your vision for my life look like? Yeah. Man, Seek ye God. first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And mm -hmm. all these things will be added to you. The things that you want, need, and desire wow. are going to be added to you. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. If all you have done is to believe on Jesus so that you won't go to hell, mm. then you are missing out on everlasting life. The Lord wants you to have. Right he wants to have now. with you right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And why this is so misunderstood is because the church has changed the message of salvation. They have placed a what we call a period. Mm -hmm. It is that unknown thing. Mm -hmm. When we just stop, we read the scripture and we stop. That's why I ask you to listen. listen. Just listen when I say the scripture of John 3.16. After the word perish mm -hmm. in John 3.16. And we never get past that. But. But shall have <laughs> everlasting, everlasting life. Life. Yeah, they have told the world that the reason God sent his son to die for their sins was so that they wouldn't perish. Period. And then we went to the next verse. That excludes the true message of eternal life and 
an intimate relationship. We keep saying the word intimate. Mm-hmm. I, I I hope it is up ingrained. close yes, and in personal. Mind. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you really have to get deep. It's not just a surface prayer. I pray every morning. Yeah, okay. But is it a rote prayer? Is yeah. it Lord just bless me today, bless my children, bless my family? And you made a statement. Or is it just? <laughs> <laughs> is it just, you know, our father, which art in heaven, mm-hmm. you know, which is fine. That is a good prayer. He said, if you don't know what to pray, pray this. Mm-hmm. But when you have a relationship with someone, you talk about something else. You yes. have deeper, more intimate conversation. And God wants that time with you. He wants that time with you. One, years ago, when I heard a verse um, about praying, seeking, mm-hmm. and what we talked about in Matthew 7, 7, um, ask, seek, mm-hmm. knock. Mm-hmm. I, I I learned to stop after I did all those things that I seek, not ask, just be quiet. Mm-hmm. You know, after I said my, you know, Lord, I, this is going on, mm-hmm. and this is going on, mm-hmm. but what, nevertheless, your will be done in my life. Mm-hmm. What would you have me to, do, me to do? And I just, I'm quiet. Before I end my prayer, I'm just, I'm silent, because I want to hear, I want to hear a download. Sometimes... He can give me something in my spirit. Sometimes it's, it's peace. If I know it's peace, okay, um, I go on with my day. But it's something that I know he wants to say to me, mm-hmm. then I, I'm still, I'm quiet. And that's what I urge you to do. It's how you get to a place where you have an intimate relationship. You, I, I speak with my, I talk with my wife, not to my wife, not just right. to her. We both talk yeah, we and talk. we both listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and God is listening. And if you listen, he's always talking. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So many people have come to the to the Lord and received forgiveness for their sins, but they still feel stuck. It seems that they're just waiting to get to heaven so they can start living, mm-hmm. but they're missing the main point of salvation. Yeah. I want to end with this, baby. Okay. Jesus cares about your life now, mm-hmm. and he wants to enjoy it with you. Yeah. He cares about your life now. Mm-hmm. Not just he wants you to enjoy it. He wants to enjoy it. With you. With you. Yeah. Amen. Isn't that something? <laughs> he wants to enjoy it with you. Listen. <laughs> this might have brought up a lot of questions. This might have, um, you know, this might have sparked some, you know, some other questions that you had about salvation, eternal life, mm-hmm. into relationship with God. I urge you to leave a comment below and let us know um, what's on your mind. And even if after the live, because sometimes on the replay, people come through and see our videos and mm-hmm. they go through the comments. And we we go through these comments. If you ask us a question, we're going to answer it. I just, mm-hmm. we, we just, y'all, y'all are people, you know? <laughs> so leave a comment and just let us know. You know, what's on your mind? You have any questions? And if you like this Bible study, I urge you to please share with other people mm-hmm. because, like my wife said at the beginning, it's, we're, we're couples pursuit. That's our that's our. I hate our to say assignment. That word. Yeah, it's our assignment. Yeah. Yes, that's that's what the overall umbrella is. Mm-hmm. But we know that this is also part of our mission too. It's to share, and, and our mission statement we say that we um, share the biblical principles that have helped us in our marriage. Mm-hmm. And this is us sharing those biblical principles, <laughs> yeah. those things that we stand on. It, when we have a disagreement, I heard a pastor say, um, never argue about what the Bible says is true, about what God says is true. We stand on biblical principles and we're like, okay, well. <laughs> What's right? What does God say is right? Now mm-hmm. who's right? If we happen to be on the Lord's side, then amen. Mm-hmm. But if you look at the Lord's side first, then you don't have to argue about who's right. Amen. You, we are both to line up with that, mm. and that that puts away a whole bunch of of uh, confusion. And just also to reiterate, um, just to reiterate, mm-hmm. I uh, I believe that although we are couples pursuit first, mm-hmm. you know that's the assignment that we have. We're assigned to couples. Um, it is God's. It is our alignment with God's word that keeps us. Mm-hmm. Together. Yes, yes. Thank individually you. and then uh, separately. That's right. I mean, individually and then collectively. That's right. Yeah. And um, we had a guest on another video, and he talked about the triangle, and that's how I knew that we were that linked. I don't know. Um, 
we, uh, just a, I guess a good biblical teaching. Um, mm-hmm. But that our, pr- our pastor told us a long time ago, he told us about this triangle. Yeah. And he told us about that our assignment is not so much I'm trying to get her right, she's trying to get me right, we're trying to get so right. close to each other, and then once we get perfect, then we can look up to heaven now. Mm-mm. No. It's you, this is, I guess, my side, having this personal relationship with God. Uh, he's the top of the triangle. Mm-hmm. And then my wife having her personal relationship with God. And then we join mm-hmm. together. Right. And, um, that's like the triangle right there. there yeah, go. yeah. And, and, and once we get that, then, man, I'm trying to tell you so many things will change supernaturally. You know, yeah. Like you add God's super to your natural. I'm trying to tell you, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> when you get together on one accord. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, I'm about to stop preaching. But <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. When you when you get together, <laughs> when you get that relationship with God, just I mean deep. I mean mm-hmm. woof, like you know, man, God wouldn't like this. You didn't even talk to him. You didn't even ask. You wasn't in prayer. You just know that, you know, God would not like you, this. Would, this would not please God. I already know, mm-hmm. you know, if I um, take this, I don't know, candy off my co-worker's desk without asking him. He's gonna be <laughs> That's going to mess up your witness, <laughs> Minister Woodard. <laughs> Hey, Amen. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, time we're over check time in. I appreciate tonight. you so much. Thank Take you so much, Margie. Margie. Uh, thank I, you so much. Hey, yeah, l- 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 let us know what you said. Deeper thoughts. Let us know what, what you're thinking. Your thoughts yeah, are. yeah. Share. That is so great. That is so yeah. great. And everybody else that will check into this video mm-hmm. live or see the replay, yeah. uh, like I said, we just urge you to share, share, and just like, comment, mm-hmm. and whatever you do, just keep God first. Yeah. Because that's where um, the true. Uh, relationship starts mm-hmm. is when you honor him to spend time with him first not not on facebook not on anything other social media n- n- not even with your spouse and i say that not to like degrade that relationship or mm-hmm. demean that relationship. it's not it's that. secondary to your relationship with god exactly 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 yeah. i love life. him but he comes second <laughs> to god <laughs> and i'm okay with that <laughs> amen amen <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, we thank you for being with us tonight. We know we went over a little bit on time. We're going to try to keep a 30 minute teaching session and then leave time for question and answer. So we may roll into like 45 minutes. But those who want to go afterwards, we want to respect your time. Mm-hmm. But we want to leave you with this. May the Lord bless you mm-hmm. and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you and give you peace. Until next time on Couples Pursuit Bible Study. We'll see you. Amen. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's good. That's good.